Hello, and in today's video we're going to be talking about meetings. Mm. Um, yes, exactly, meetings. <laughs> um, and specifically the question we've received from an IT leader is, how do I stop wasting so much time in meetings? Um, don't and, have them. Yes, or, or don't <laughs> go. There we go. Um, we hope you enjoyed the video. Can we be a little bit more practical? Yes, do you think? a bit more uh, serious. So when we're booking meetings, what have we learned? What are the sort of things that we do to make sure that we don't waste time and energy in meetings? So make sure there's a requirement for the meeting. So okay. yeah. ditch all the unproductive meetings that you've had where you sat there for an hour or two hours. Make sure it's really specific. So know what the outcome is or the problem is that you're trying to solve beforehand and you tell everybody. Yes. Make sure it's timed. So if you usually have an hour and a half, can you fit it into 20 or 30 minutes? Yes. Um, and make sure you've got the right audience in the room. So people are going to be able to make decisions, have an input, so you've got that really clear outcome when you walk mm. out. Yeah, we've developed a little acronym <laughs> for it, which we'll share on the bottom. So requirement, outcomes, timing and audience. That's really cool. I didn't know you were going to do that. That's very good. <laughs> That's very good. Um, I entirely echo those points. Mm -hmm. the, the most soul-destroying thing is attending a meeting where you're not sure why you're there. It's a cast of thousands who aren't making any decisions. Yeah. Uh, and that can be controlled and handled uh, by helping people up mm -hmm. front. Uh, a couple of things to say around the side of that. Short meetings definitely work mm -hmm. better. Getting people to stand up, this is why, uh, indeed, one of the reasons why stand-ups are called mm -hmm. such a 15-minute meeting in the morning encourages people to mm -hmm. keep to time. Um, Parkinson's law, indeed, says that a task will expand to fit yes. its time and yeah, yeah. definitely do that. Um, I haven't tried it, but I imagine if you did a two-hour stand-up in the morning, people would still be there, um, <laughs> even though it had lost value. Um, so that, that's certainly one. Audience is interesting. Mm. So there, there is a challenge sometimes about risking well, such and such might want to know. And even if you put informational invites into the things, people don't come, uh, or rather people come along anyway. Maybe an idea is, uh, and I've done this a few times, is to record meetings, mm. at least summarise notes to a broader audience yeah. if people are interested, put them on Confluence, whatever, so that it's public. Yeah, that but why well. not actually video the meeting? Mm. That works really well. Then uh, people can, if they choose to watch it afterwards, they can, and you've got a good record of the conversation that happened as well. Something that works well for me is um, facilitating it. So somebody's standing mm. up and y you can almost keep to point and you're encouraging the energy in the room and, you, you know, that flow. So you can rotate your facilitators, you be the facilitator, so it mm. becomes common that you are there for an outcome. Especially in a recurring meeting. And as you're working yes. through, it's visual, mm. you're creating that story. It's much easier to keep people's focus. There we go. So I, I think this might be quite a short video. Yes, so I hope that helps. Uh, this is a short meeting, just to kind of prove <laughs> the point. Uh, have, think about it yeah. and have some purpose. Use the rotor model uh, or rotaf model, because we've got mm -hmm. facilitator as well now. Yes. Um, we use that model. Make sure you've got a clear outcome in mind. Keep the meetings short and punchy mm -hmm. and limit your audience. If other people want to get involved, great, they can watch the video afterwards. Give it a try, see what happens. We'd love to hear and find out. If other people have got uh, tips that help make effective mm. uh, meetings for them, mm. uh, please add those to the comments. And if you've got your own question, if you're an IT leader with a challenge with your team, with your organisation, and you'd like us to talk about it on a future video, please uh, put a note below in the comments. We're still going to do a few more in this series, so your question could well feature in a future video. Many thanks. Thank you.